Hi guys, uh, thanks for visiting us at RS Aquaculture today. I would like to show you one of the case studies we recently just had. As you can see, we had one of these molting failures uh, similar to what we had previously, but this was held in a big tank with a very deep water level. So we were actually quite puzzled on what actually happened. So upon examining the crab course, we realized that uh, they were not 100% filled. As you can see, the claws still remain yellowish in color, where its feel is more of like a dark reddish color. Although this method has not been 100% proven, but we've been using it. So since the crab has already died, uh, we have decided to open the claws up using a pair of scissors. Uh, and what you can see is you realize that the crab meat inside the claw is actually not 100% full. I would say this is about 50% or even less uh, whereas the other claw I guess this is the one with the erosion uh, we're still opening it up so you can see here it was it also suffered the same fate where it wasn't 100% filled so probing my fingers into the claw, you can see that it has a thin layered membrane, but having that said, the meat is still not full. So going back to the traditional technique of examining crabs, uh, we will press on the bottom layer of the crab, and as you can see, we are, the shell is able to flex. So what does that say? It creates a bit of confusion thinking that crabs actually mold when they have sufficient nutrients or in other words they are full before they proceed to the next stage but we have seen quite a lot of samples that doesn't really agree with this so it is more like a effect where where the crabs actually have to mold after a given certain period of time so that's all for now thank you for visiting us at RS Aquaculture